Alright. Oh. Hello everyone. How are you going? If you're new here, hello. My name's Lucas. How are you going? And if you're a subscriber or a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope you're all doing very well as well. I can't believe we finally made it. We're here. Hello everyone, how are you going today? If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Lucas, how are you? And if you are a subscriber or a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope you're doing very good. Well, everyone, it seems like we have come to a milestone on my channel. It is officially the one year anniversary of my channel. Can you believe it already? Like. It does not feel like it's been a year already. It really hasn't. The last 12 months have been such a big thing for me, especially with this channel. I can't believe I've made it to a year already on, on YouTube as a content creator. It's exciting. Oh, by the way, do you like my new lighting? Got this beautiful RGB light here. I've put it to a lovely pink for today's video. I was gonna put the light on, but it was going to take out most of the colors. So we're just sticking with just only the lighting here. And I think it still, I think it still looks quite nice on its own. So for today's video, I just want to do a very quick retrospect on my first year on being a content creator on YouTube, which, you know, has been something that prior to making the channel have thought a fair bit about. It's definitely been a journey leading up to that point. Let's, let's, let's go back to sort of like the beginning. I'd say the beginning of like thinking about this channel it was around September, 2021. For me, you know, I was really getting into watching other content creators on YouTube. During the pandemic, I watched a lot of YouTube and I've grown to, you know, appreciate a lot of the people that I watch as, as content creators. And I think at that point in time, around September of 2021, I was starting to feel like maybe I could do something like that as well. But at that point in time, I didn't have the self-confidence to think, oh, maybe I, maybe I can't do, I probably can't do something like that. It was like a dream. Like, making a YouTube channel was something more of a dream than a reality for me at that point. But I think from watching the other content creators on YouTube, it really inspired me to the point where, towards the end of 2021, I was starting to think, I was starting to imagine myself make, having a YouTube channel, and not just sort of thinking it as a dream, but maybe more of a reality, thinking maybe I could actually do this. But I still wasn't too sure, you know, and I talked with a couple of people leading up to that point and during, like, the rest of 2021, and as the, as the year grew to an end, I started feeling more confident and thinking maybe I could actually do a channel. I could actually do something like that. I was still a bit like apprehensive at that point. I was a little bit nervous because I was like, you know, a, I don't know, like be nervous sort of like having my videos on YouTube, you know, for everyone to see. Cause here's one thing that you should know. I've been editing videos for years. I think the earliest that I can think of in terms of editing videos will be 2010. I remember I really got into video editing after I watched a- <laughs> Oh Lord. I watched an edit. We can call it an edit now. It was a remixed version of... Everyone knows that robot chicken skit of the gummy bear getting trapped in the bear trap. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. It was a remixed version of that. And not like a remix or like an edit, like, as in nowadays. It was something of, like, the early... 2010s, late 2000s standards. I remember I watched it with my sister and a couple of our grandma's neighbor's kids, and that was that was that was quite fun. It was quite funny. That was also my introdu introduction to Robot Chicken. I think I started editing videos myself, like for me or for my family to see, and then it grew to sort of making. So like music video esque things with with songs and you know the themes were basically mostly revolved around the games that I was playing or like the TV shows I was watching. That was a good chunk of like twenty between twenty ten to around twenty fifteen. So you know I did a lot of that like in my own time during high school and then around 2015 to about 2017, 2018. That was when I was getting more into anime. I made more uh, like anime crack videos. Remember that was a thing? <laughs> you better stop! Please! Patricia! I'm all strung out, my heart is fried. Jesus, what's going on? I can never understand what's going on. <laughs> what? And then 
then that was pretty much it up until I started making this channel. Uh, my video editing techniques were enhanced by making this channel. But then I grew the confidence to do so. And, and I think one thing that really helped me was that around Christmas time, 2021, I had like a, an epiphany that I deserved to be seen. I deserved to be, to be heard and seen as much as anybody else in the world. To paraphrase Bachelor Girl, I gave myself permission to shine. Stream Permission to Shine by Bachelor Girl. That is such a fucking great song. So then by that time I thought, I can actually do this. I was still a little bit like apprehensive because I was a bit nervous about doing it, about actually making a, a YouTube channel because that feels like such a big thing for someone who up until the point was lacking a bit of self-confidence and was also dealing with anxiety. I've dealt with anxiety for well over 14, 15 years. I'm currently trying to overcome and take control of myself. In that sense, I've definitely come a long way. And then my other hesitation was, you know, the what if factor of like, what if I became very successful in a short amount of time? What would I do? Cause like, you know, I don't know how I would cope if that happened, but you know what? It's been a year already. And my current stats now are, I've got 35 subscribers and the view count of my channel has almost hit 7,750 views. So I'm nearing 10,000 views on my channel. And you know what? I definitely consider that a very great achievement on my half. I think I've done really great. I'm clearly making videos that people are watching and are enjoying. That's, that just feels really great to me. You know, for me, this channel is for me first and then everyone else second. But the channel to me is a creative outlet. Definitely a good source of, source of creativity because like I said, video editing has been such a big creative outlet for me growing up, aside from art, you know, because I love to draw as well. And unfortunately during the pandemic, my sort of drawing skills have been stifled, unfortunately. But I'm hoping to try and get back into drawing soon. I'm slowly getting back into it now, actually. So that's something I'm hoping to sort of do more of this year in 2023. And even my first video that I that I put up, which was my reaction to all 11 songs for the Australia Decides competition for Eurovision last year. Even though, like, even though it's been a year now and it's only, it hasn't even cracked 100 views, I don't care. I still, I still think it's great that it's gotten that many views. And I, and I like that people have actually viewed it. It's really, it just, it's exciting to see that people have actually viewed it. Pl trust me, I don't want to be like an overnight success. I have seen people who got like, not even like 100 videos and they're already like almost up to a million subscribers and like, Girl, how the fuck do you get to that point? Like, what, what is, your, is secret? your secret? But seriously though, I don't really want sort of like that quick of a success on YouTube. That's like, that to me is like too much. Like I'm happy with where I am right now. I'm happy for a gradual build up of people watching my content. I, it's perfectly fine with me. I'm happy with where I am right now in terms of the amount of people view my con viewing my content. Hang on, what's my hair doing? Ooh, it's kind of doing its own thing. Let me just rearrange my hair a little bit. Ooh, styling. Uh, ew. So I made my first video. I uploaded it, and it was it, it was it was it was quite scary because like you know, me coming from dealing with dealing with anxiety and still and just only coming to terms with you know me having more self confidence in myself, uploading something on onto the onto the internet was quite scary in terms of a, in, in terms of a long format video. Yes, because you know it's something that I have not done before to that level, but I did it. And I was so excited myself, and then I was really excited. I kept getting momentum to, to create more videos. And in the span of 12 months, I've released 12 videos. I'm really happy with that. And I think that's a good number to start off with for my channel in terms of a year. I've made some good videos in the last year. I'm really happy with the, with the content that I've put out. And I just want to say again, thank you very much for viewing my channel, watching my videos and subscribing. You know, it, it means a lot knowing... Oh my God. That just, that actually was a fucking jump scare. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry that my phone ruined a fucking perfect moment. Child, anyway, so, <laughs> thank you very much for viewing my channel, subscribing, watching my videos, and leaving comments. You know, it's really great knowing that people are viewing it and, you know, they are enjoying my content and are finding entertainment in my, in my, in my commentary and, you know, and my reactions and everything. I am really grateful. I am really grateful for that. So thank you very much. The big hitters were definitely the three that have cracked over a thousand views. So my Dawn FM video, which was my very first like album reaction that hit over a hundred views in like a, a day, which I 
completely was shocked about. That was a great video. I was still finding my footing on in terms of the editing process and how far I could go with my editing. Take my breath. Uh. Away. Intense. Graphic. Sexy. What is going on? Don't you dare touch that dial. Because like the song says. <laughs> Sorry. Said you wanted your boyfriend jealous with a cup of piss. It's not okay though. Then the next video that gained over a thousand views was my blackout video. That one was so great too. And that was like, you can tell at that point there was like a shift in terms of how I edit. Because the first four videos, which were the Eurovision videos, Dawn of Feminine and Kanto, I was still finding my footing in terms of my editing and, and again, how far I could go and what I could potentially do. Then with Blackout up until now, it evolved greatly. I really enjoyed that video because, again, I think there was a lot uh, uh, there was a lot more to say about it because it was something, uh, it was an album that I had a lot of history with growing up. That was great. <laughs> Fuck yes! What are these sounds? It sounds like all those TikTok straight boys that are trying to do the vocal fry. And that gained well over a hundred views within a day as well, which I was really shocked about, but I was not surprised about that either. And then my other video that has gained over a thousand views has been my Midnight's video for Taylor Swift. That I'm pretty sure had like over 200 views within one day, which I was really shocked, but not surprised because, you know, the Swifties, when they see their girl come up on anything, they just swarm to that video straight away. I have to commend them for that. And that video has is currently my most popular video on my channel. And you know what? Rightfully so. I think that's that's also been a great video as well. Now I want Taylor Swift to collab with The Weeknd. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. It's me. This is how you should be listening to this album. She's the anti-hero. But imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. I really enjoy editing and sort of like have my humor come into my videos. I feel like it's, you know, having my sort of stamp on that side of the music and movie commentary and just sort of talking about mu music and, you know, in a sense, pop culture as well. Putting my humor, putting my stamp on it, my twist into into it is is quite. It's been quite fun to sort of do and just sort of express that as well. If I had my top three videos that I've created in the last year, I think definitely Blackout has is, has to be a standout because that was definitely a turning point in terms of my in, in terms of my channel, in terms of the editing, and also just everything else about my channel. Another one that I'm really impressed with. And this might come as a shock to everyone because it's not one of my most viewed ones. And it's also a recent one too, but the ranking the um, end of year top 100 for 2002 was a good one because I think it was something really different. And I put a lot of humor into that video as well. And, and ed ed like the editing humor, I found myself giggling to it at several moments in the video. So I really enjoyed that one. And in terms of a third one that I really enjoyed, I feel like it's a bit biased because I feel like uh, the ones that I've done more editing to, like in the last six months has been really great. Not to hate, not not to disregard like the other videos that I've done prior to that. They were also great too. Except the only one I think that I might be the exception is the Encanto video because that one, even though it's currently my only movie reaction, I still really liked how it all turned out in terms of how I put my spin on doing a movie reaction and what I could do with a movie reaction in comparison to my usual music reactions, which I'm really happy about. That's definitely definitely another favorite of mine. But it's so hard to choose. Like they're all they're all great in their own respects. I can't really choose which ones are my like complete favorites because then there's also the Renaissance video, which I think was also another good one as well. Slicker Thing Average, that was a great video to edit as well. And even the Spotify rap to one that was great as well. I really enjoyed it And I'm really happy too because I think the next video that's gonna hit a thousand is definitely gonna be Renaissance because I think especially with the recent intrigue after um, Beyonce became the artist with the most Grammys to her name I love that for her. Congratulations to Beyonce <laughs> I am very uncomfortable with the energy that we've created in the studio today. For being that girl, she is that girl. The first track on the, on, on the album, I'm that girl. That is exactly what she, like that is, when we think about it, that's kind of foreshadowing. She is that girl because she, 
She is that girl. Anyways, I'm rambling a bit here. I've it's I've come a long way, I think. Even though it's been a year, I've come a long way in terms of this channel. How I've evolved, not just not just with my editing, but also with me and like I feel like in some ways I've I've even evolved thanks to this channel. I don't know how, but I do feel it inside. Like it I do definitely feel like having this channel has has also made me evolve in other ways as well. All I can say is that, you know, this is not the end, it's only the beginning. Definitely. 2023, watch out. I've got a lot of other videos I got planned. Um, there will be more mu music reactions. I've already got a few that, that are coming to mind in terms of albums. Obviously, Eurovision. I can't wait to react to that. Once all 37 songs are on Spotify, I will film. I will film it. Expect that. I don't know, I reckon sometime around April, I reckon that's going to be the way to go here. I do want to do more movie reactions as well, so stay tuned for that. I don't know what I want to react to though, it's... For me, I feel like it's been really hard trying to find movies to react to, because I'm like, where do I start? There are so many movies to react to, and I don't know, like, where to begin. I do have, I do have some ideas, I've all, and I've been changing my mind as to what I want to react to next, so watch this space, we'll see how we go, but I definitely gonna be some more movie reactions this year. Most importantly, I will be starting to game on this channel as well. It's on the banner. I do want a game, it's just I haven't had a chance to because I think a lot of the stuff that I wanted to put out first was really music related. So now that a lot of that's out of the way, I want to get into gaming and all I can say about that one is that those videos may come sooner than you realise actually. You may be a little bit sooner than you realise. So Hold on tight, that's going to happen very soon as well. So I can't wait, 2023, oh yeah, this is also, this is the first video that I've filmed for 2023, because the last four videos that I've put out throughout 2023 have all been from last year, that I've just collectively just tried to edit and get out in the last two months. November, December were really busy, I was busy working my ass off, so I had no time to edit. Un until like Christmas. So it was insane pumping out those four videos in the last two months. So I'm glad they're done. I can go back to filming. Again, this is the first time I've filmed in about three months. So I'm excited to film and put out new content for 2023 and for, this, and for the second year of this channel. I cannot wait to continue. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. Even if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. Um, but, but also, thank you for coming back to visit me um, on the channel and seeing what I've been up to. It means a lot for, for the people who are watching my videos. You know, it means a lot coming from someone who well over two years ago would have thought this would have only been a dream um, and thought, you know, I had something that I couldn't do, but I've proven to myself that I can actually do it and for other people to, other people to enjoy as well. So, thank you so much for for being a part of it i'm gonna leave it there i've been very tired lately i've been very exhausted stressed but you know we're getting we're getting back around so i love you all so much you know thank you very much oh my hair fucking hell it's quite sweaty in here it like it doesn't look i mean actually it might look a bit i, I don't know it's cold but it's hot i don't get it it's autumn it should be cold. actually no it's march it's still warm anyways thank you very much for watching my videos the last year and thank you for sticking around for the last year and i can't wait to put out more more content for you guys for the next year and for the years to come i'm i'm so excited so if you if you like this video please give it a like. If you've liked any of my other videos and haven't done so yet, please give them a like. If you've enjoyed my content over the last year, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't hurt. And it's and it's free. Subscribing is free. So, you know, why not? Leave a comment, not just on this video, but for my other videos to bring them up in the algorithm. Kind of spread the word that, you know, hey, I'm, I'm here. Uh, I exist. And as always, hit the notification bell so you can get notified on when I upload next. 2022 has been a big year, but 2023 is definitely going to be an even bigger year. I've already said that, but it's definitely true. I can't wait to bring out the content for this year. I, I already have, technically. Let's, let's, okay, technically I already have. Uh, still can't believe it's been a year already. Uh, and you know what? I've made the disgusting realization that by next year, we would be already almost halfway through the 2020s. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'm returning. Hello. Thank you very much for watching. 
as always, take care because you know what? I'm doing my best to take care of myself and my self-care and well-being. And so should you in any, like no matter what, you should always take care of yourself so that you can be the best version of yourself as much as you can every day. Here's to another year. Cheers, biggies. Where did that fucking come from? Okay, I'm going to stop right here before I go away too, before I get... All right. <laughs> Bye.